Hi, and welcome to Type Through the Bible. This game allows you to build up your typing skills while you read through the Bible. It also creates many different visualizations and analyses that you can use to track your progress. So let's start playing. I'm going to press enter to stick with the recommended version of the typing test. Um, I'll now see a, diff a couple different options for choosing my next verse. I can begin with a specific verse, a random one, or the first one I haven't yet typed. There's also an auto start option that lets you type different verses in pretty rapid succession. But I'm going to start with minus three to choose the first verse I haven't yet typed. And that happens to be in Deuteronomy. So I can press any key to begin typing. I'll start with space and here we go. Okay, so uh, I now get to see my characters per second and the word per minute equivalent along with some other stats from the day. So you'll notice that uh, when I made a couple mistakes there, the text went from green to red, and that simply indicated that I had made a mistake that I needed to correct. Um, once you finish typing the verse correctly, you don't need to press enter with this version of the typing test. It will automatically end the race. So now I have the option to choose another verse. I'm just going to press one to type the next verse. And then I'll actually do just one more here. Okay, and you see that there's an autosave there. Um, roughly every 10 verses, the game will save uh, some of your results just so that in case there's any issue with your computer or the program, uh, you'll still have those in place. So I'm actually gonna press minus one here to save my results and exit. So it'll let me see how many characters I've typed so far. Uh, it's going to save updated copies of the results files, um, and I'll go into those files in more detail. So now I'm gonna give an example of what AutoStart looks like. AutoStart is a feature that allows you to immediately begin typing a new verse after you finish typing a previous one. So it makes for a faster typing experience, and if you're trying to um, beat your record for the most characters you've typed in 10 minutes or 15 minutes or an hour, it makes it a little bit easier to do that. So I'm just going to press minus four here to enable auto start. And then it's going to immediately start me off uh, at the, um, in this case, uh, given where I am in the Bible, it's going to start me off the next verse, which will be uh, John chapter one, verse one. And then if I want to exit out, I can just press the accent until the key. And then I can, as usual, just press minus one to uh, save my results and exit. So Type Through the Bible creates lots of analyses that make it easier for you to track your progress. Um, so there are three core CSV files that the game updates uh, whenever, you, whenever you save and close. Uh, the first is just a list of all the Bible verses. Um, it, if you've typed one, it will show you your forts per minute, uh, along with how many tests you've typed there. So in my case, um, I've typed through Genesis, Exodus, uh, Leviticus, and Numbers. I'm currently in Deuteronomy. I've typed a bit of the New Testament too, so I can see words per minute results for these tests, uh, but these are still blank. Uh, next, we have the uh, results file. So this will uh, save a copy of each re uh, test that you've typed. It'll show your words per minute, um, when you started it, uh, the book, the chapter, the verse itself, um, and then some additional analyses too. Um, Yours will look a little different from this one because um, I've updated the, the program in the process of uh, typing through the Bible, and so um, some columns are still in use and then others aren't. So finally, we have the uh, word stats file, which has individual word level uh, words per minute results. So uh, I was most recently typing through uh, John chapter one, and so I can see you know, the individual words from that verse, um, from that chapter. There are really a lot of analyses created by the program. Um, I don't have time the video to go through all of them, but I'll just highlight a couple here. Um, the analyses are generally saved both as HTML uh, format charts so that, to make them interactive, but also as PNG image files to make them a bit easier to share. 
So I'll quickly walk through some of the analyses that the uh, program creates. This just shows my words per minute over time by test number. Um, I've done over 6,000 tests now. If I want to focus on the more recent tests, I can just kind of click and drag here, and that will show me those tests. Um, these were cases where I was doing the same test over and over, so it let my word per minute get a little higher than it normally would. Um, here we have uh, books by characters typed. So this chart shows all the books in the Bible, along with how many characters I've typed within each book. So I've uh, typed through all of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers so far. I've uh, currently typed through Deuteronomy, so um, in total Deuteronomy has about 140,000 characters, and I can see here I typed through about 43,000 of them. There's a similar verse of this chart that um, shows the percentage of each book typed, so I can see that these first four are all 100%, uh, and then Deuteronomy is about 31%. Uh, this chart shows my average words per minute by book, uh, and the colors just indicate how many tests I've typed uh, per book. The program also keeps track of how many characters you've typed in a given 10 minute or 30 minute or hourly block. So for instance, I can see here um, that the most characters ever typed within a 10 minute block uh, was a little over 6300. Uh, it also tells you when exactly you've typed that. Um, so you know, one way to make the game a little more fun is just to try to see how many characters you can type in a given period. Uh, this is a case where auto start really helps because it saves you from having to, you know, press a couple buttons to get to your next test. So in this, I use auto start for uh, this highest bar and it definitely made a difference. Um, I can also see my top hours by character count. Um, my goal is to reach 36,000 characters in an hour and uh, I'm not quite yet there, but I think uh, now that I've added an auto start, um, I'll be able to get there. This chart looks complex, but it's actually very easy to create using Plotly. Um, actually, all the charts I'm showing here were created using Plotly, which is uh, a really fantastic interactive graphic library in Python. Um, uh, what you see here is just the whole Bible broken down by chapter, uh, broken down by book, and then by chapter. Um, and then the colors indicate how much of a given chapter I've typed. So, for instance, with Exodus, uh, I've typed all of Exodus, so everything shows up as yellow. Uh, meanwhile, with something like Deuteronomy, um, I've typed through about 31% of the book, um, so these yellow chapters are ones I've typed, and the blue ones I haven't are ones I haven't typed so far. I can also double click on one of these chapters for a closer view. So I've just done on Deuteronomy, and now I can see uh, not only the chapters, but also the verses as well. So uh, you can tell that I'm um, currently typing through Deuteronomy 10, because I've typed a couple verses here, but still have quite a few to go. The game also includes word level statistics. Um, I updated the Python code so that it would track when the player begins and ends a given word, and that way you're able to see which words you type the most frequently or the most accurately. For instance, here's a chart showing uh, which words have the highest median words per minute. Uh, it's limited to words that have been typed at least five times to avoid outliers, so I can see that um, words like each, friends, east, should, things, all have pretty fast words per minute. Um, meanwhile, uh, words like Pedazer, Hadava, Eliasaf, A, just capital A, requirements have lower words per minute. Uh, uh, you can also look at accuracy data. Uh, here's a chart showing uh, which words have the highest accuracy rate. Um, these all have a rate of 100%, meaning I've ne I haven't yet mistyped them. But the chart is also sorted by the number of times I've typed a word. Um, so for instance, uh, I've typed C 70 times, haven't made a mistake there yet, at least in uh, the test that I've saved. Uh, until, saw, and so forth. Uh, and then over on the right, uh, these are also mistake-free words, but I just haven't typed them as often. Um, I do kind of like the color gradient that the chart produces. However, I can also see the words with the lowest accuracy rates. Um, requirements, for whatever reason, um, I've only typed that correctly once out of six tries. Uh, and then uh, words like Eliasaf and Hatava and Pedazer have also been typed less accurately. Um, and you can see that you know, those words also show up in my lowest uh, medium work minute chart, uh, because if you make a mistake, of course, it's going to take longer to go back, undo the mistake, and finish the word. So this chart, a scatter plot with um, the incorrect character percentage as the x-axis, and the word per minute as the y-axis, just again reinforces the uh, importance of accuracy of words per minute. Um, these uh, tests here have all been typed without mistakes, so the average word per minute is a little higher, but you can see that as you begin to make mistakes, uh, the average word per minute gets lower and lower. There's also a chart with percentile level data. So uh, this chart shows that my lowest word per minute was 41.3. Uh, the highest word per minute, uh, which I got after a lot of trial and error, was 203. Uh, and then in the middle, the median percentile is right around 134.4. This game is also open source. I've released it under the MIT license. So if you'd like to take a look at the code, uh, you can certainly do so. 
Um, the Jupyter Notebook is probably the easiest way to view the code, although the game itself runs using a Python version of this notebook. So uh, I won't walk through the whole code here, but um, I'm trying to add in documentation to the notebook uh, and the corresponding Python file to better explain you know, why I took the steps I did in creating the game. Um, and you'll see, for instance, different functions for selecting verses, uh, performing the actual typing tests, analyzing the results, and then uh, creating visualizations as well. So uh, there's a lot in here to take a look at. Um, of course, uh, it's released on the MIT license, so you're also able to modify the code for your own projects. For instance, if you want to create a typing test of your own, um, you could take the typing test functions and then apply them to uh, a, di a different text. Um, so yeah, if, I encourage you to look through the code and just, uh, you know, of course, if you want to make some modifications or improvements to the game, uh, you're able to do that as well. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed learning a bit more about the game, and I would definitely encourage you to uh, give it a try. And just check the description for instructions on how to download the game so that you can play it yourself.